The detectives who came here at around 2.30 are finding out how Bank of Uganda has been dealing with Cairo International Bank and if Bank of Uganda has ever made any supervisory reports about the bank. It is alleged that Cairo International Bank is the one where 63 billion shillings was allegedly paid on two ghost accounts. Also another area of concern, according to our sources, is the returns Cairo Bank has made to Bank of Uganda. Central Bank officials are supposed to give their opinions and clarification on the allegations that Cairo Bank charges exorbitantly on customer savings amounting to 2%, which also apply to the alleged ghost pensioners' savings. Previously, there were allegations that in some cases, money from Bank of Uganda was sent to the accounts before the accounts were opened, or even on the same day the accounts were opened. There are speculations that if detectives access sufficient evidence incriminating Cairo Bank, the institution could be forced to pay the 63 billion shillings allegedly lost in the scam or closed business. Last month, six officials from Cairo Bank were arrested and later released on bond. NTV has also learned that before Bank of Uganda pays out any money to ministries, the principal accountants and accounting officers who are permanent secretaries record their authorizing voices with the bank before it pays money starting from 100 million shillings. <laughs> Meanwhile, Geoffrey Kazinda will spend another night in the coolers of Luzira prison after he was denied bail at the anti-corruption court in Kololo. Kazinda, the former principal accountant, is charged with forgery and causing financial loss. Prosecution argued that Kazinda should not be granted bail because of a series of cases against him that require recovering documents from his home. Prosecution further argued that Kazinda is likely to interfere with the investigations plus the witnesses. In their submission, Kazinda's lawyers had earlier asked court to refer the case to constitutional court for interpretation of alleged violation of his right to treatment. The lawyers claim that Kazinda was arrested from Lago without a formal hospital discharge later. But the anti-corruption court chief magistrate Irina Kankwasa said that it was not necessary now, but urged them to file a civil suit against a person and persons who deprived him the right to treatment. For now, Kazinda will stay in prison until court decides on the convenient time for hearing. Still Bihar Hanga, NTV.